What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about video bitrate and what is the best bitrate for YouTube videos. Because if the bitrate is too high, YouTube will compress and smash it down and ruin it. And then also if it's too low, it's gonna be stretched out and dilute the quality. So let's get started. Now, if you head down here in the timeline, you notice I have this time lapse of the city. I'll play it for a second. So it's a lot of information, a lot of detail and we wanna do the right bitrate for YouTube. So here's a chart of the YouTube suggested bitrate. If you head down towards the bottom where you see the HDR, which stands for high dynamic range, those are the numbers we're gonna kind of focus on. Because as cameras and computers and bandwidths and everything advances, those HDR numbers are what we're gonna aim for. So head to the bottom left section, you'll see the 4K version, and then there's the 1080p version, and those are all 24 frames per second and 30 frames per second. That just depends on the footage you've shot and the media that you're working with. And then to the right, they have the 60 frames per second in those same resolutions. So you'll notice down there next to those numbers, the bit rate is measured in MPBS, which is megabytes per second. So the ideal for the 4K shot in 24 frames or 30 frames is 44 to 56 megabytes per second. Now, if you're working with standard uh, high def footage at 1080p, the ideal would be 10 megabits per second. And then to the right, if you're shooting at a higher frame rate at 60 frames per second, for the 4K, the ideal is 66 to 85 megabytes per second. And then also for the 1080, if it's at 60 frames per second, you wanna bump it up to 15 megabytes per second. Like I said, if you upload something that's too heavy and too high bit rate, they're gonna smash it and compress it down because they're not wanting to hold that storage on YouTube. So they wanna make smaller files. And then if it's too low, when it's uploaded, it's gonna look bad, it's gonna look pixelated and the video quality is not gonna be the best it can be. And also you gotta remember some people watch on their phone, so you know 1080p is just fine, but a lot of people are watching on, on their TVs or their 5K screens or the 6K screens and it's gonna look bad. You always wanna use the best quality footage that you can record with your camera and that your computer is capable of editing. And then with those restraints, you wanna find the right bit rate when you export it. So now let's head down to the timeline. So we have this video I showed you and I wanna export it. So I'm gonna head to the export menu, come up here to file, go down to exports over to media. As you can see, there's also the shortcut here, Command M. So I'm gonna do Command M. And this is the more advanced detailed uh, export window. So if you come down here, you'll notice the output. This is gonna tell me what all the information is gonna be and all the settings for the output. So it's saying right now it's at, at 4K footage. This is 3840 by 2160 at 24 frames per second. But the main thing I want you to focus on here where it says target 10 megabytes per second. So the same thing we talked about in that chart I just showed you. If this is 4K footage, that bit rate is way too low. That bit rate's the, the suggested bit rate for the 1080, and we're working in 4K. So I need to change that. So let's come up here to the presets, head up here. So these two first ones for match source, high bit rate and medium bit rate. If high bit rate is only giving me 10, we wanna head down to the next little section right here, these three that say adaptive, high bit rate, adaptive, medium bit rate. By choosing this, it's gonna do a custom bit rate based on the resolution and the frame rate you're working with. So I use this setting a lot. So if we click adaptive high bit rate, you're gonna come down here to the suggested and it's now saying target 60 megabytes per second. So if you go back to that chart that I just posted, that's a little bit above the YouTube recommendations, but that's still pretty close. So you can obviously go down and go to medium and you notice it's gonna drop it down to 30 megabits per second. So that kind of gets you in the ballpark. And there's some other ones. If you go down here where it says full high quality 4K, so now it's saying the target is 80 megabits per second and a max of 96, which is too much. It's just unnecessary. YouTube at that point is gonna compress it down. Now, if I wanted something where I truly wanted the best quality, not for YouTube, I would of course do this to make the best quality video. But if I know YouTube's gonna compress it anyway, that's overkill and it's just gonna to take too long to export and to upload and then YouTube's gonna smash it anyway. And now if you wanna be more precise and you wanna fine tune it and just lower it so it's exactly right in the middle, if you head down here to the video tab and go under basic video settings and just scroll down, you're gonna see a little section that says bitrate settings. So here it's saying target bitrate. And this is the megabytes per second like we always talked about. And at this preset that we've selected up here, it's saying the target is to keep it at 60.7. Now, if you really wanna follow those YouTube windows, you can even squeeze it down. It was saying 56 was the top. So you could then go to 56 or a little under if you want. So now we have it set at 56, which is right at the top of the suggestions for YouTube as far as the bit rate that they want. And if you wanted to add just the extra care and the extra detail to it, you can come here and do a second pass. So the VBR stands for variable bit rate. So now in this drop down menu, they have VBR1, which is by default, or there's VBR2, and there's also CBR. 
Now CBR I never do, that's just constant bitrate. That's saying no matter what, every second do that exact amount of information. And sometimes that's not necessary. If you have a very simple window and it's just like a basic black backdrop and the person is just doing an interview, that's unnecessary. So you do the variable bitrate, it'll determine based on the resolution and everything that's going on and it'll adjust throughout the video in order to keep the size down a little bit and only do the higher quality in the areas that it needs. And then there's also a VBR variable bitrate two pass. This just does another pass through the rendering process and just adds another layer of quality. So you can do that if you want. And then if you really want to do it, go down and put use maximum render quality and then export it. And that'll be the highest quality export you can do under those YouTube guidelines for bit rates. Anyway, I hope that helped you understand bit rates a little bit better for YouTube and the guidelines that they recommend. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. That being said, have a great day. Later.